Well, Trevor Cowan's here, standing in Den Faber and Peel. A gentleman who's well known to most of us normally for Timble Day. And should, we, should we start with that? Yeah, I mean, you on, yeah, are yeah. prolific with all these things you want to change. And I think we probably said in the past, it's about, you, know, you should put your head above the parapet. You're doing that this time. Yeah. So what's made you do this? Well, mainly because um, uh, I've been fighting government for about the last 10 years over many, many issues. And uh, you can't win from the outside. I always knew that. Mm. And the only way to, to get to make change is to become a, um, an MHK. And then you've got the power to do things inside. I mean, we're not going into all the details about the different ones you put, brought over the years. You have some particular subjects you're very keen on. Uh, the sewage, I mean, and that's one, isn't it, particularly yeah, for people? Yeah. Well, th I, that wasn't included in my, in my um, petition. No, but I know it's in your well, manifesto. It, but it is, it, is, it is the main issue around Peel. Yeah. Everybody I speak to around Peel, anywhere in the constituency, the main issue is the sewage, this dumping of raw sewage off the end of Peel Breakwater and seeing seagulls feasting on it for, for uh, all day long. What's your solution? Well, the solution has to be a treatment works. And we had a, um, there was a, a, a plan by the Max Utilities um, at the Glen, the Glen Faber house site, uh, they, uh, they appointed an inspector, he held a public inquiry, it was referred back to the Council of Ministers for decide whether to accept or refuse his recommendations because planning inspectors don't, yeah, yeah. Just don't determine planning uh, applications. Let's, let's go in the past, I mean, what are you, you going to well, do about it is the question. Well, if, if elected, yep. I, the first thing I'll be doing is, is pushing the Manx Utilities Authority to come back with a fresh planning application for somewhere, and I don't really care, care where it is, right, as long as they come back with well, a people, fresh application. People do care though, that's a trouble. Yes, them. they do. Yeah, but they, they ha there has to be a, pla mm. a, a treatment work somewhere. Yeah. The sewage has to go somewhere. But getting that place is the problem, as, yeah, uh, as well, Blacks yeah. also found out. But yeah. at, at the moment, Tim Baker said he's not coming back with a planning application for until next February, which to be 14 months after the uh, the other application was aborted and mm. uh, to make it clear to everybody it was never refused by Coleman. Mm. Uh, it's not one of your things I thought it was actually cause you have all these other petitions over the years what yeah. other things are on your mind and you'll be greeting well, I, I, the, only, the only time I've, I've been successful with a petition was uh, last year when uh, Bill Shimmons picked up uh, one of my petitions about um, the, uh, uh, the interested per person status in planning. Mm -hmm. Jeffrey Bibb brought this in a couple of years ago. Uh, it's only a rule, it's, n it's not a law um, under which people, unless you're living within 20 metres of a development site, you can't get interested person status. And without interested person status, you can't appeal. Mm. That, I think, is, is a, is a, it's a non-lawful rule, but it's one which, which, which has been applied as if it's the law. And that's wrong. So I, I'd like to try and have that removed. Now, if you got in, are you going to be very much a one-man band? Like, no. That's the thing, because you know, you've got your gripes, and it's probably a strong no, no. word, but you know, you've got your things you want to sort out. Well, the problem with being a one-man band is that you are a one-man band, and you, you need to bring people with you. Yeah. You know, so uh, you've got to get people to come on board with you. And of course, mm. it all depends on, on, what the, on what the new administration is. Mm. I should imagine this town, there'll be quite a, quite a lot of new members. And I'm quite happy to work with people. Okay. Because I, I do see you as a bit of a sort of rebel. Maybe, no? Well, I was a rebel, but you, I, you I, still am, down now. I, I still am. I yes, still am. I know yeah, that's not yeah. yeah. But the point the, is. The advantage, and the other, the other advantage about being a member of Timwold is that I could bring forward um, public petitions. And I could bring forward my own public petitions if that was necessary. So you got in and people go to Timwold Hill and put grievances down. You'll be picking them up, would you? Oh, yes. Yeah, well, you no, know, well, no, not, all, not all of them. No. But if, if they are genu if they have genuine grievances, mm. and and they should be investigated, I'd pick them up. That's the whole purpose of the petition system. It's been a, been in existence for hundreds of years. What else are you hearing on the doorstep? I mean, you, you had a chance to hear what people want besides the sewage and things like that. Um, well, mainly the uh, well, you've got the the, the the marina, of course, is the next one. To Public get rid of the marina. Sewage. Well, the, 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 at the moment, the. DOI doesn't have any long-term plan on how to deal with the silt. They haven't got the funding to move the silt which has just been um, dredged from the marina. Mm -hmm. uh, they've got nowhere to put it and yet they've spent nine million pounds on, on the last dredging. Thing. Mm. What I've been proposing is that they, they build a wall to, I don't like the word, but canalise the uh, River Neb. Turn it into a canal, if you like, oh, right? Okay. To separate that from the um, from the marina, yeah. right? The silt cannot, therefore, after that, get into the marina, right? There may be a little bit of back eddying down by the by the wall, but they could deal with that. And then they've already accepted that if they did that, and if they dredged the the canal, if you like, and that little bit down the bottom regularly, they can dump that in the sea. 
So that solves the, the disposal problem. What about national politics? Uh, things for the Isle of Man and you know, costing them and whatever you're going to come up with? Have you got any ideas? Well, I've, I've looked at all sorts of things. and I've, I've, I've drafted a manifesto. I've looked at all things. Climate change, obviously, is on, is on everybody's uh, lips at the moment. Um, you mentioned Douglas Promenade as well, things like that. Oh, oh Douglas Promenade. You know you won't be... Douglas Promenade is a complete disaster. It's an absolute disaster. The problem is nobody's been held to account. Mm. And I think somebody should be held to account, whether it's ministers or civil servants. Or it, it should never have been allowed to get to the state that it's in. What do you think to this, the two MHKs for your area at the minute then? Are you, do you think they've done a well, good job? Or the, the, are you the, standing uh, against them? The word on the street, if you like, is that they careful. failed. They failed. Oh, okay. They've done nothing in the last five years. So you're not and impressed? No, not impressed at all. Nobody's impressed with them. Well, okay, some people put them in there, so they'll obviously yeah. work, so be careful what they think. Well, but you're standing yeah. very much as a, you're not in favour and you want to take their place, basically. Yes. Both of them, sort of thing. Well, I can't take the place of both of them. No, <laughs> no that's true. But yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, okay. Where are we going to go? Are you going to be, uh, you said you would be well, a team player. Yeah. But would you want to be a minister or something? Do you see yourself joining a department? I think I think being a minister straight away is, is a, bit, a bit of a, a, an advanced step. Mm. But I'd, I'd be happy to join a department. Which one would you Well, think? My, my, my expertise is in planning. And I've got a good knowledge of fisheries. So that obviously leads me to DEFA. Mm. And I hope Jeffrey Boo's not there. <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> he's standing. Yeah, <laughs> so, yes, okay. I mean, well, I, as you know, I've been uh, battling with planning for many, many, many years. The planning committee is still illegal. I, w I haven't got time to explain no, why actually, now. That's but a, some of these things you've been It is still illegal. Right. And the planning processes need a, a complete written branch of review. Mm. This, this, this came out in the uh, Elm Tree Arch fiasco when uh, the... the um, there was 32,000 people objected to, to the, the fact that they'd, they'd, give, fair they'd, give, know, they'd given them permission to, to cut down all these trees. Mm. If you examine the documentation, which I have, no such per permission was ever given. Okay. So well, let's not get stuck on, on that yeah. one now. That's, that's probably dealt with now. But yeah, yeah. what would you do to planning then exactly? This thing about getting states as... Well, the first thing you need to do is to make the, the planning committee legal. Right. It's been illegal since 2005. It says... Who? Oh, it's, it's been illegal since 2005, so yeah. all its decisions, no, no matter what anybody says, are void. You can back that up? I, I can back that up, yeah. Okay. They're this void and of no legal effect. Okay. So there you are, you're, you're in, and who's going to be the Chief Minister? Uh, I've, I would think that well, the, the, the person that's leading the race at the moment is probably Alf Cannon. Ah. Yeah. That's um, who you'd plump for? Yeah. Well, he's, he's, done a, he's done a fairly good job uh, keeping hold of our finances. Uh, our reserves are currently uh, just under two billion. Mm -hmm. uh, they only borrowed forty million for the pandemic, mm -hmm. and they paid that back over f uh, three months. Yeah, everything's held up, didn't it? All the yeah. they thought uh, it was going to go down. So, so, in that respect, um, yeah. I think I think as the leader of our f finances, if you like, yeah. he's probably done quite a good job. And, uh, of course, he's leading after his father, David, isn't he? <laughs> so he's, he's had some good training from David. Um, you know, paying for these things, of course. Everything, everyone's got yeah, these yeah. ideas, and, and that's why uh, yeah. Treasury has to come in. And Do you see the end of, presumably, a 0 10 and uh, maybe a 15% minimum tax coming in here? I'm not, a, I'm not a tax expert, and no. I can't really comment on that, but I, I do have a very good friend who is a, very, who is a tax e expert in Mark Solly. Yeah. And Mark, oh, yes. and Mark gives <laughs> quite good advice on that. I mean, uh, is, is it a good outlook for the Isle of Man, do you think? I don't know. I, I, as I say, I'm not a tax expert, but, so but I prefer not to answer on that. OK, but uh, housing comes up. Everyone's talking about housing yeah. and this need. For, have you got well, an opinion on this? Yeah, well, I, I think they should review the uh, first-time buyer scheme. Uh, they should make more, more properties uh, uh, available under that scheme. Yeah. And uh, uh, it's a difficult subject because prices have gone up. You can't stop prices going up, mm -hmm. but, but, if, but in order for, pe for people to get on, on, the, on the, the housing ladder, if you like, they need support. Mm -hmm. I mean, when I, when I built my house uh, in 1971, 72, we had the um, ha um, building by private enterprise scheme, under which people could find a plot of land, get planning permission, engage a builder, build the house, and they would be given stage payments as it was being built. Government provided. Um, a 35% loan at a very low, low rate of interest, 10% uh, of the cost, and, and all you had to put in was 5% and find a 50% 50, 50 mortgage. Mm. Now, something like along the lines of that, I think, would be very helpful at the moment. Okay. Just to finish with, if you didn't get in this time, do you see yourself 
standing and being committed to getting it at some point? Well, if it doesn't I, think, I think I'll be getting rather elderly next time. So you might be a one-term only? Yeah, I think I'll be one-term. I'm, I'm 72 now. And uh, we'll still see you on Timble Hill otherwise, I'm taking I think it. you'll see me. If you don't get in, you'll see me on Timble Hill on Timble Day. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a tradition. And, uh, <laughs> I put 13 petitions in this year. I know. I know. And uh, I only had three accepted, by the way, as being, oh. as being in order. <laughs>